What's up guys? Welcome back to Blue Prism Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to get the number of rows which are available in the particular worksheet inside the workbook by using get number of rows action. In this tutorial, we will learn in two ways to get the number of rows which are available inside the worksheet. First of all, let me show you a small use case over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having employee workbook inside that I'm having employees worksheet. If you see over here, I'm having n number of data related to the employees, right? Now what I want to do, I want to get number of rows available in the particular worksheet. You may ask why we required number of rows to count it. Because of if you see in our real time scenario, the companies are sending the salaries to the employees right they will send the entire excel sheet to their banks along with the details now i want to know the number of records matching to the number of records which i have sent to the banks in that case i will go ahead and i will match with the number of rows right there are two ways i will show you first way by using get number of rows action inside the ms excel web view all right, let me drag and drop action onto the canvas. First, we'll set the properties to get the number of rows. Click on properties. Now over here, I'm going to select MS Excel VBO. And if you see the action over here, I'm having get number of rows. If you see the beauty of the blue prism, for each and every action, I'm having an action over here inside the blue prism for each and every business object. That is the beauty over here. You don't find this kind of actions for other RPA tools. All right. Now let's click on get number of rows. By using this action, I can get the number of rows available in the particular worksheet. So first I'm going to select the handle over here. Handle, I'm going to drag and drop handle value. And the workbook name I'm having inside the workbook name that I'm having, that is employee workbook. Now, from which worksheet that you want to get the rows? Over here, if you see, I'm having employees. I'm going to select the same worksheet name over here as employees. All right. Now, we have given the inputs. The outputs, you can see number of rows. How many number of rows that we are having inside the worksheet that we will get it and we will store inside the data item that is number of uh, number of rows all right now i will tell you one thing over here by using get number of rows you will get along with the columns you can see over here employee number also the column it will be entire column will be considered as a row all right now let's click on okay now let's link from open workbook to get number of rows, from get number of rows to close workbook, all right? Let's run the process to see the output, how many number of rows that we are having inside the worksheet with the name of employees. Process execution started, open workbook has been executed, and now you can see get number of rows, you can see the output after execution of action, get number of rows, you got it as 10. Let me show you the output once again. Over here, if you see, I'm having 10 rows, including the column. That's the reason we are going to get it as 10 rows as an output inside the number of rows data item. All right. Now, is there a way to exclude the columns and then only we want to get the data inside that? So by using get number of rows action, we don't have such a kind of feature over here. If you see, to exclude the first column, I don't have you can see over here, I don't have any kind of inputs to exclude the column header. Now, is there a way to exclude the columns and then we can go ahead and we can count the number of rows? Yes, there is another way. By using get worksheet as collection action, we can get all the records which are available inside the worksheet. We can go ahead and you can get it. And then we'll go ahead and we can count the number of rows inside the collection by using collection actions. Let me show you that. Let me drag and drop another action onto the canvas. Now I'm going to set the properties. Now we are going to select the business object as MS Excel VBO. And there 
first i'm going to select get worksheet as collection all right you can see the same inputs that we what we have for the get number of rows i'm going to select handle value over here as handle and after the workbook name workbook name from the employees and over here if you can see over here worksheet name i'm going to give you the same worksheet name as employees all right now if you go to the outputs the entire data will be stored inside the collection right let me select that store in as data and then i'm going to click on ok now by using get worksheet as collection i got the data entire data inside the data collection now after the collection what will happen in the current values the first row will be considered as a column and then inside the data we will get it as a rows over here this is the major solution that what we have right now once we got the data inside the collection now what i will do i will count the rows which are there inside the collection right how can i go ahead and do that now i'm going to select one more action over here and i'm going to change the properties over here you can see the business object over here internal business objects that we have i'm going to select the collections and over there inside that i'm having action if you go for the drop down list over here you can see count rows over here so by using this collections you can get the count rows number of rows which are having inside the collection right now you are here i'm going to select the value for the collection name as an input i'm having data this is the collection right i'm going to give the value inside that in the double quotes you can see over here i'm having collections this collection value i'm going to give in the data type as text the value is data and the outputs if you see i'm having count i'm going to select store in i'm going to select rows counts i will give it over here all right now let's click on okay now if you see i got the rows counts i'm going to keep number of rows as well as the rows count side by side now what i'm going to do i'm going to link from open workbook to get worksheet as collection from there to count rows from here to close workbook all right now let's run the process to see the output how many rows that we are going to get it inside the rows count value rows count data item now you can see by using get worksheet as collection i got the collection data if you see inside the current values that i'm having all the values including the columns but the first row has been considered as the column all right now if you see over here now i got the nine rows which is the exact value all right these are the two ways one is by using get number of rows we can get the number of rows which we have inside the worksheet that we can get it by using get number of rows but what is the hiccup over here the columns also it will be considered as a row and it will get the entire number of rows inside the worksheet and it will be displayed as an output but to avoid the first row at the column that what we have done we are using get worksheet as collection action then by using count rows inside the collection internal vbo objects we got the exact count so we can say both are the correct but it's uh, there's no hiccups over there there is no disadvantages over there because of sometimes we may consider the columns also as the row in that case we are going to use get number of rows if you don't want to consider column as a row in that case the alternative way that that we are going to use get worksheet as collection and then we are going to count the number of rows inside the collection by using count rows action i hope you understand how to get the number of rows or how to count the number of rows inside the worksheet by using different actions such as get number of rows or get worksheet as collection after that count rows inside the collection thank you for watching blue prism tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day